<laughs> got it to work. Got it to work. Oh, last time I built this, I built these where these ropes are. I built it with uh, chains. This time it was ropes last time. Now it's chains. And I was really disappointed last time because it only just took about 20 odd kilos weight. That's it. But now, now with this upgrade, it actually is a functioning table. What's this? Bam! Tensegrity table. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, so excited. Ready? I'll show you this. Watch. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Yes! It works! It works! Now, the magic of tensegrity, best part about this, is that gravity has nothing at all to do with it. Watch this. It even works on its side. And that's tensegrity. Yeah. Boom! Yes! So when it went huge, Everybody kept asking me what was the final load of it. It got to about 25, between 25 and 30 kilos. I don't know what that is in pounds, but it was a bit disappointing and it was really sloppy. So I wasn't happy with that in the end of it. So look at this, I've got chains. These are gonna anchor into the top and I've got bolts to adjust, welded to the bottom. And I should be able to pull it up nice and tight. I've got a chain for the center bit, welded at 60 degrees for the middle support. And that should work well, I'm hoping. And here you are, you're just beautiful. You are. <laughs> Get out. Okay, there's my knots. Let's get rid of those. Hole, but it works. Yeah, well, that works nicely. Due to time constraints, I've just planed that terribly, but you're never going to see that. Now I've got to put screws back in the same holes. I really want to do that so it looks the same, but that's going to strike the steel underneath. So what I'll do is I'll pilot hole through the steel and then screw to it. Okay, so that's done holes pre-drilled they'll hold the steel nicely in place now to screw it back down and voila let's do it Ooh, coming together got those chains set up now I've got to put a support here into there and hopefully that doesn't I hope that'll hold it up without removing the magical look of it Okay, that's done. Now we've got to support there, so that should that will increase this, stop the stress point there. I had to remove this here, sorry, this one here, in order to be able to screw the top back in. But I've tightened that gap up, and this here is is perfect now. I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll take my weight, but at least take one of the kids. So let's see what happens. Okay, next thing I need to install is I need to drill that in there, exactly where that was before, and we should be good. Let's do that. Done, got it done. There it is there. So they're fixed in, running fast out of line. But we've got this now to attach to the top one. Okay, slight issue. I installed this one upside down. I've got to flip that around. Because <laughs> the chains won't even reach. It's way oversized now. Dang it. Back again. Now I've just put some extra supports here to keep this piece here from flexing here in this direction. But also if I put these side pieces on, flexing in that direction oh with some effort but it does come down let me do it got to do it let's see if it cracks this time <laughs> yeah it worked so it's down Hey buddy, hey buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> <laughs>
Give me a beautiful dog. Give me, give me. He's a dude, lovely man.